guys, this is the Beta Guitarist. Today we are going to learn the ultimate dreamy chord progression on acoustic guitar played finger picking. So without further ado, let's get into the close up to learn the chords together. So let's get started with the chords that we are going to play. The first chord is an A major. It's played as a spread voicing triad, which means that you don't find root, third and fifth in this order, but you find root note, fifth, and then major third, one octave higher, and you get this kind of voicing. Basically you use the ring finger on the 5th fret of the low E string, the 1st finger is on the 2nd of the D and the little finger is on the 6th of the G. This way. From here we move to this chord which looks like a G sharp because it has a G sharp on the bass but it is really an E major, so this is the root note in 1st inversion, which means that you have the root note uh, played on the D string, you've got the major 3rd on the bass and you've got the perfect 5th on top. So you've got 3rd finger on the 4th fret of the low E string, 1st finger on the 2nd fret of the D and little finger on the 4th fret of the G. From here I move to this chord which is basically a D6 uh, in 1st inversion again so I'm going to look at this with the open D as my root note, the F sharp on the bass as my 3rd, so again a 1st inversion, 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the low E, 3rd finger on the 2nd fret of the G string, okay, and then I go back to uh, E over G sharp. So I start from this chord, which is an A, I move to E over G sharp, D6 over F sharp and then E over G sharp again. I repeat this twice uh, adding extra notes, basically embellishments or additions to the chords uh, as extensions which are going to be the open B and open high E here on top. When I start the second part of this uh, progression I'm starting from B minor which I play with the seventh fret of the low E string ring finger uh, 4th fret of the D and little finger on the 7th fret of the G. From here I keep this down and I move these two back, so 1st finger doesn't move, these two go on the 6th fret of the low E and G string. And this chord really is an F sharp, 1st inversion, so F sharp over A sharp. From here I go back to my A major, same as before, and from this I go back to another E over G sharp which I already played in the first part. The last part of this chord progression starts with a B minor played in first inversion, so with a D on the bass and it's gonna be a B minor over uh, D. Second finger on the 10th fret of the low E, first finger on the 9th of the D and little finger 11th of the G. Then I move to another A but this time in first inversion as well, so A over C sharp and it's gonna be ring finger on the 9th of the low E, first finger on the 7th of the D and little finger on the 9th of the G. From here I move to a G over B, so again this one is the root note, so I play 3rd finger on the 7th fret of the low E, 1st finger, 5th of the D, a little finger, 7th of the G, and from here I move everything one half step back, so F sharp over A sharp again, so 6th fret on the low E with the ring finger, 4th fret of the D with the 1st finger, and 6th fret of the G with the little finger. Okay, so if I go through the chords only, first time. Then with the embellishment. From here I go to the B minor, second part. Then F sharp over A sharp. A major, E over G sharp. Last part, B minor over D, A over C sharp, G over B, F sharp over A sharp. Now let's have a better look at the right hand. So I'm playing everything finger picking with uh, basically in eighth notes using eighth notes for each chord using thumb index middle index and then ring middle index middle that's the main technique so if I go through the A for example I'm going to play thumb index middle index ring middle index middle and the strings I go through are the root notes so basically the low E then D G D second part B D G D G okay And I pretty much apply the same pattern to all of the chords in the first part. Okay, so same technique. I just play each chord twice. 
then the second time I go through these chords, through this chord progression, I also add, after the first eight notes, a movement with the thumb. Since my goal is to actually add these two notes, the open B and open high E, I play the first eight the same, but then I move the thumb between the low E and the D, so I play thumb, thumb, index, thumb, and then index, middle, ring, middle, index, it's just to reach the highest notes. In order to do so, I play low E, D, G, D, then high E, B, G, D, so. Okay, that's pretty much the pattern that I use, but you can use your own uh, as long as you add these extensions to the chords to make it sound even brighter and more brilliant, you know. Then in the second part, I pretty much keep all the time this, you know, this first pattern twice. Only from time to time I might get like an extra note, like an open uh, E. The only relevant variation is when I play this B minor, because I also add this little melody to go through uh, B minor and to go to F sharp over A sharp. So what is that melody? It's basically E, D, C sharp, B. And the way I played is little finger that slides between 7th and 9th on the G, then second finger on the 7th of the G, first finger on the 6th of the G, and then little finger again on the 9th of the B. So I start the chord the usual way, and then here I play in the second half of the second bar this little melody to then reach the F sharp over A sharp so all together slowly Okay, and the only other thing is that when I reach then the F sharp over A sharp, rather than starting just with the bass, I start bass and top note. So I play low E and G strings uh, uh, together so that they sound. Okay, so just to basically have the melody going. Okay, to this C sharp at the end, which is the top note in the F sharp over A sharp. So. Okay, very smooth, uh, just a good way to go from B minor to F sharp over A sharp. And then you continue with the rest of the pattern over the other chords. So again, it's nice and easy. A few finger picking arpeggios over these dreamy chords. Feel free to add your own variations. For example, here the second time I add my extensions. Changing the pattern, here we go. It doesn't have to be every time the same, as long as you are in time. Then you go, second part. With the melody, yeah. It's all very chromatic. Then you change voicings, you go higher. A over C sharp. And here you decide how long you want to play the last chord for. And this is our chord progression. Okay guys, so hopefully you enjoyed today's chord progression. Please let me know in the comments below your feedback about this lesson. And if you are a first time viewer, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can keep up with all the upcoming lessons and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any other video like this one. If you want to support this channel and help me reaching out more people, feel free to like this video and share it with your family and friends. I would really appreciate that. This was The Bearded Guitarist. Thanks for watching guys. I'll be seeing you next week.